In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to make Meet the Journey prompts, why it might not be a good idea, and show you the alternative. So here I have ChatGPT open on the left and Meet the Journey on the right. So let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT to write a Meet the Journey prompt for us. So I'm going to type write dense hyper detailed description of futuristic city using one medium length sentence. Now, ChatGPT is typing our mid-journey prompt. Now, the only good thing about this is that it's going to give us a lot of keywords we wouldn't have thought about otherwise. Now, I'm going to go ahead and copy this GPT-generated mid-journey prompt. Then I'm going to go back to mid-journey and type imagine and paste the entire prompt there. Okay, this didn't trigger the imagine command, so I'm going to retype that again. Now I'm going to speed up the process and show you what chat GPT midget journey prompt looks like. Now you would think that adding more detail would make your prompt a lot better, but as you can see, it looks kind of cartoony and all over the place, and it just doesn't have that organic quality. Now mid journey doesn't really like super expressive sentences in the first place. But ChatGTP does give you a bunch of keywords you wouldn't have thought otherwise that you might use in your prompts. So what you can do is ask ChatGPT to extract verbs or nouns from that description. You can ask it to separate by comma, and here's the verbs from the previous mid-journey prompt description. In the same way, you can ask ChatGPT to extract nouns from the previous mid-journey prompt that it has generated. And basically, you will see here metropolis, skyscrapers, networks, lights, streets, drones. So in the same way, now that we isolated our mid-journey prompt just to nouns, I'm going to go ahead and copy that and paste here. And so by removing all that other garbage text, we were able to achieve slightly better results. So you can see how using ChatGPT for generating mid-journey prompts isn't really that much great of an idea. So I'm going to show you how to improve your mid-journey prompt here. I'm going to copy this mid-journey prompt generated by ChatGPT earlier. I'm going to add Blade Runner film scene dash dash AR 9 colon 6 dash dash test P. So this will give us nine to six aspect ratio. But the key point here is adding the Blade Runner film scene, which is gonna take all the keywords generated by ChatGPT and make your mid journey prompt more cinematic. Now, as you can see that the results here are a lot better. Another technique you can use that many people don't even think of as a technique is regenerating the same prompt over and over again. Because sometimes in an odd case, the same prompt can generate a much higher quality image. So basically it's a lot like throwing the dice until you get six on both dice, which doesn't happen often, but when it does, the results are really great. So here's another example of a mid journey prompt generating a futuristic city and simply because we added Blade Runner film scene to the end it looks a lot better than a generic chat GPT generated mid journey prompt but simply asking chat GPT to generate mid journey prompts for you usually will not give you the best results so instead you might want to use image prompts like I do here and the key to this is not to just use images but to use multiple images so here I'm going to show you how to use six different images of a car, which we'll use as a photo reference for our mid journey prompt to generate really high quality images. So I'm going to go ahead and open six different tabs with different images of different cars and angles. And what you want to do is go to each one, one by one and copy the URL, go to imagine paste the URL, go to the second image, copy image address, space, type URL, and do this for all of your six images. It's important to get the best images you can possibly get. So it really matters which references you choose here. 
So here's the fifth image URL, and the last image is this one. And so I'm going to go back here, type the last URL, type space, and also you might want to add something else here. So I'm going to add city at night, dash, dash, aspect ratio, nine to six. Hit enter and just wait for the images to generate. You'll notice that mid-journey converted all of our URLs to a shorter version of that URL. And you can reuse these links later as well. So I'm going to speed up my video here as our mid-journey prompt is being generated. And as you can see, using photo references for your mid-journey prompts generates much higher quality results. So my conclusion is, unless you're really good at it, using ChatGPT to generate mid-journey prompts was probably not a good idea.